Hello, CRR sir, Ramaro sir, how are you? Hi sir. So after a long time, I have uh, uh, got a chance to meet you. Okay. So, so I am very pleased to meet you, sir. Okay. The I want to talk to you about uh, one thing. Uh, you see, yesterday's uh, need paper in that uh, this question was given. Yeah. And uh, one of my students has uh, got some confusion. Means, uh, you please go through this question, sir. Statement 2. Atoms of each element are stable and emit their character spectrum. So, his doubt is, actually he has, some of the students have marked this option. Both statement uh, 1 and statement yeah, 2 are correct. A, both the options are correct. Yeah. So, but the boy has got uh, a doubt. It means, sir, atoms of each element are stable and emit their character spectrum. So, atoms means uh, there may be uh, radioactive atoms. So, he has to consider radioactive atoms or not. That is uh, his point of uh, view. So, in my opinion, uh, one should not consider uh, the radioactive atoms in this uh, uh, particular case. So, what is your opinion, sir? Okay, Ravindra Garu, uh, this is my opinion. Let's leave off for a while whether the statement is correct or not or picked up from which book, all that. But speaking in general, atom is stable. Every atom is stable. That's why the matter maintain its form. Okay. The tangible world around us, if you observe the objects which are there in this, something like, let's say our coffee mug, the pen or pencil we use, like that any other object, let's keep them on a table. You close the door, shut it, and you come after a few days and watch them. We see they maintain their structure. We don't see any deformation or changes in shape or changes in structure or anything like that. It is all saying that unless the atom is stable, these objects what I listed, they cannot maintain their structure or form. That's a fundamental proof to say that every atom is basically stable. Okay. And the second point is, when you are speaking about the stability of an atom, according to the question that is given, the stability that implies is, Every atom is having equal number of electrons and protons. Okay, yes, sir. Yes. Because their number being equal. So, net charge will be zero. Right. That's electrically neutral and that's how it is a stable. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, so, I if that atom point. loses, let's say, a few electrons, it becomes a positive ion. And if it gains some electrons, it becomes a negative ion. So then, then only it becomes unstable. Yeah, then only it becomes unstable. Okay, so, in okay. the process of attaining the stability, it interacts with something else. Like, oh. a, like another ion to get that stability. Atom to get that stability. So here the point is he is saying atoms of each element are stable. So by default every atom because it carries equal number of electrons and protons. Okay. It is stable always. This is my opinion sir. So in that case uh, option 2 that means uh, statement 1 and statement 2 are correct. Yeah definitely true beyond doubt. Okay. Thank you Ramaro sir for enlightening our students. So, my dear friends, uh, uh, in the opinion of uh, most of the teachers like this, uh, uh, especially our uh, senior most faculty, Ramaro sir, as per his opinion, this statement is correct. Uh, so, don't uh, think in the other way. Okay. I hope uh, NTA people also uh, will uh, go for this option, uh, I think. Yes, truly, sir. True. So, they have to. I mean, uh, uh, so it, whenever we say whether the sentence is correct or incorrect, we have to look at the general meaning of it. Okay. A few special cases or exceptions mm. will never make it either right or wrong. So, in a general sense, we have to look at. Okay. If that is the case, leaving of some exceptional cases, this statement given is 100% true. Okay. Thank you, Ramaragaru. Okay. Thank okay. you, sir. Thank you for interacting with me.